What's going on? It's JJ. So here we are, South Bank, my hometown. We're going to pack a cards. I'm going to do an oldie but a goodie to the people behind me who are Asian. And if any Asians are out there, hey, how are you? Come with me. Great, good, good. English is fun, is it? Are you, how, how long are you guys live here, right? No, I don't. I'm really good at Shinsai. Where are you from? Uh, Singapore. Singapore? Yeah. And where are you from? Yeah. Singapore. All right. Hanging out with my Singaporeans. Any Singaporeans out there? Thumbs up. All right. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, can you give them a shuffle for me? Sure, no Good, man. Just so we know that they're not set up in any way. All right. I see. That's the Asian shuffle. Yeah, I think so. It is. It's the Asian shuffle. All right. Do you want to show you my favorite shuffle? Yeah. Okay, this is my favorite shuffle already. Watch. That's called the ex-girlfriend shuffle. <laughs> yeah, looks good, doesn't do anything. <laughs> All right, <laughs> okay, here's the catch, right? Yeah. I want you to do me a favor, grab one card out, yeah. don't show me, show everyone at home, and uh, we'll go on from there. All right, so anyone you want, anyone that uh, you can remember. Okay. Right. Good. Do I pick a couple? Yeah, take it out, take it out. Good man. All right, show your friend and show the camera, I won't look. All right, now here, pass me the card. Now you've seen the card? All fair? Okay, here's the thing. Normally what happens, right, is I normally shuffle the cards and do something fishy. Yeah. But this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get you to shuffle, okay. so you know that I can't set up the cards in any way. So okay. you can do the Asian shuffle. Good, she's <laughs> doing the Asian shuffle. <laughs> Singaporean Asian shuffle styles. All right, good. Okay. What do you guys think of the shirt, by the way? It's cool, right? Cool, right? Free Magic Live, that's, how we, that's, how, that's who I represent. <laughs> All right, so you shuffled, yeah. you remember the card. Okay, here's the thing, right? I want you to think of your card. Your card's somewhere in this deck. Hold this. I want you to, to say the card, but don't tell me the card, yeah. just say it in your mind. Have you seen Chris Angel before? No. Chris Angel, have you seen him? Um, it's from TV, no. TV? Yeah, no, yeah. all right. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, all right. <laughs> look up here, look up here, all right? Think of your card. It's red, isn't it? Do I need to see? Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Cool, cool, all right. <laughs> I can tell, say, say the suit. Don't just say it in your mind. Hearts, right? All right, now the number. Pretend it's right on your tongue. Pretend you're saying it, but don't say it. <laughs> when I tap your shoulder, I want you to say it, but don't say it out loud, just say it in your mind. Ready? One, two, seven of hearts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. So cool, man. Eh? Awesome. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> you don't even touch the card. Yeah. Yo, welcome back, people, to the explanation. Now, I know what you're thinking. JJ, JJ, seriously, where can I get one of your shirts? Or well, you can go get one of my shirts, look at the link below. You'll see the description stuff. Get one of my shirts there. Pretty cool, all different sizes. If you're small, if you're medium, if you're really large, um, get one of my shirts. So here's the explanation to this trick. I call this trick the mind reading, um, crimp, uh, fallout boy, rock style, uh, watch, leather, adidas um, trick of the century. Actually, so that see here. Let's see if she, let's see if Sean could edit that in. All right. So here's the trick. Now um, you might be thinking I've sort of seen this before in an old, an old view where actually we're all black, and I was doing it to some guys who really enjoyed it in the Queen Street. This is South Bank, which is Queen Street's probably over there somewhere. Um, so this is how it's done. Really, really simple. The whole point of this is really not the perform uh, the the ending of the performance just reading their mind it's actually a way how to get someone to choose any card right they can shuffle the cards and you know what that card is and there's no forcing that's right no forcing at all so this is what you do my friends all my lovers all my lovers out there um, so you get someone to pick a card you grab uh, what well, they grab one of the cards out now as they're looking at it, this is what you do. Really not that hard. You're going to make a mark in the card. That's all you're doing. It's called a little crimp or a little mark, whatever you want to call it. The way I do the mark is as the card's here, I get them to remember the card. 
I make a little mark on the bottom left of the of sort of the, the card itself. So I just push my finger, thumb fi sort of my, my thumb up, and make a little bend in the card. So as you can see, right here, it's got a mark in the card. It's got a mark in the card, doesn't it? Does it? Yes, see? Even people from, hello, how are you? Good. Don't worry, that's not my family. All right, so here's the thing. You got a little mark in the card here. Then what you do is you bring the cards together and as you explain to them what you're going to explain to them, say, hey, look, normally uh, magicians don't let people shuffle. Normally they cut the cards and do something sneaky, but here's the thing, I'm going to let you shuffle. And because you've got the mark in the deck, all right, you give it to them, they're going to take the back in the, the, the not the back, the deck in their, the back. They're going to take the back in their hands and then what they're going to do is they take that back, pick up the real deck. Uh, they're going to take the deck in their hands and they're going to shuffle. Now here's a little bonus thing with this. If they, I've never ever been caught out because as you know, way, the way I talk, the way I interact with the group, which is very important, I, they always, uh, what I'm saying is they're not going to look down and see that mark in the card. All right. Now, just so you know, that's not a huge mark because I've been doing this for a while. If you want to make it a bit bigger, you can. So the, the marks here, I ask them, hey, do me a favor, shuffle the cards and think of your card. Now, when you tell someone to do something and you tell someone to do something else and they want to help you out, normally your audience is very helpful, right? If you don't have one of those helpful audiences, either just move on, okay? So they shuffling the cards and it doesn't matter where they shuffle, right? There's always going to be a mark in the card. So when you get it back, Here's the, this is it, this is the, the, the answer right here. You take it back, you go think of your card, you can basically, if you want, cut the cards to the top. You can really even sometimes lift up the cards. You cut the cards, right? You sort of unbend the card when you're sort of squaring them up. And then all you can do, the card's on top, and then you can go, look, remember your card, you just quickly pick at the top card. If it's on the bottom, you pick at the card. And the rest is presentation, my fellow friends and lovers. So that's basically it. Then you can go from any presentation you want. You can go into the mind ring effect. You can write it down. You can tattoo it on your arm if you've got a tattoo gun under quickly doing a switch tattoo thing going under there. Um, and that's it. Really simple, really easy. Once again, it's all about the presentation. And I, uh, so many people on my videos say, oh, JJ, the stuff you teach is real simple. It's real easy. That's the whole point of Free Magic Live. I wanted cool tricks, simple training. I wanted you to be able to impress anyone. And I'm giving you all this stuff, all right? for free so you can do this and you can really go and press anyone. It doesn't really matter on what the method or the trick is, it's how you present it, okay? Very, very important. So that's the trick, chilling here in South Bank, go learn it. Tell me your thoughts. So that's it, tell me what you think. Rate, thumbs up, favorite the video, do whatever you need to do underneath this video and you might be thinking as well, JJ, where can I go learn some more of these cool tricks, coin tricks, everyday tricks, water tricks, leaf tricks, bird tricks, whatever you want to do, all you have to do is go to my website and sign up, name and email at freemagicliveaccess.com. That's right, freemagicliveaccess.com. Put your name and email in, I'll give you all the free stuff, all the cool stuff. You'll get tricks ASAP, that's right, ASAP. How you doing, fellas? Keep walking. Um, <laughs> ASAP. And make sure also you check out my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash freemagiclive. If you're a Twit fan, tweet me, twat me, twickle me at Free Magic Live, or if you want to check out my personal stuff, just go at JJ Live. So sign up at freemagicliveaccess.com, rate, uh, thumbs up, favorite the video underneath this video, tell me your thoughts, tell me your comments, I want to go see, I want to see you go out and performing it, and then go out, check it out, it out, show your friends, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. See you later.